Ladies and gentlemen, Fragrance Master here, and today I'm gonna be showing you the top five sexy fragrances for men. These are what I like to call compliment beasts, fragrances that are gonna uh, project. The Sillage is amazing. They have a signature uh, DNA to them. Uh, these are not just gonna be some uh, regular, regular Jean-Paul Gaultier, Dolce Gabbana the one, what everybody likes to include in these videos. If you're going on a date, choose one of these. All right, let's get started with number five. Grab it. It is Armani Code, and I believe is Armani Code Black. Now, before everybody bombards my comments with, oh, the EDP is better, the EDP is better. The EDP has a different DNA to me than this. I mean, it is the same in the same family, but I find it that the Eau de Toilette has a nicer dry down on my skin. So this just goes to show you that don't take random people's words about a specific fragrance because it might perform different on your skin. So for me, Armani Code, the um, Eau de Toilette version is the best performer. I get the most longevity with it. And honestly, the dry down of this one is super, super, super elegant. Like, I remember I've got this one and YSL La Nuit de l'Homme, which is also coming up shortly. But I got both of these at the same time and it was thanks to my uncle. He came one time over and I smelled this fragrance on him and it was a phenomenal scent. This fragrance has been my favorite for some time too, but compared to some of the other ones, this won't hold up. All right, number four. Oof, um, yeah. All right, number four is Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. I know there's a few versions of this. There's the Eau de Toilette version. There's the Parfum version, which I think is an extrait, which is just uh, super heavy on the oil. I smelled the Parfum version at the mall and I'm not a big fan of it. I've been buying the Eau de Parfum for about six, seven years now and it's the best. On my skin, it has the best um, silage, the best longevity. I like Eau de Parfum. Uh, once again, go and try them out. You know, if you're buying fragrances, go and try them out. You don't want to buy something and then it doesn't perform like how it performed on somebody else. This has that pepper in it that sticks out in the beginning and I think that's what grabs your attention is the, uh, they call it pink pepper. If you take a bottle of pepper and smell it, just imagine that with like super heavy citrusy florals. The ladies love this. I mean, guys, listen. This and Armani Code, as much as I love Armani Code, I, I love it more than Bleu de Chanel, but this is a hit with the ladies. The ladies love this DNA. It's like a Dior Sauvage type of movement that's going on with it. Like this right here is a super attractive DNA. And, and if you walk by a lady, I guarantee you she will turn her head. Super nice, super citrusy, pepper, woody, um, spicy. This thing is classic. All right. Now, the top three are some of my favorite fragrances, also some of my most complimented fragrances as well. I talk about number one a lot, and no, it's not Creed Aventus, but if you follow me on my other socials, you know which one it is, probably. So let's go to number three. Let's not skip ahead. Number three, we have YSL La Nuit de L'Homme. Now, hear me out. This thing is still a killer. I know many people talk about this fragrance and it's for a reason. People compare it to Dolce Gabbana The One, but to me this is a more mature version of Dolce Gabbana The One. Um, with this one you're getting more of the woody notes. The funny part about this is up until I was able to afford Creed Aventus, this was my most complimented fragrance. Buy this fragrance to go on a date, buy this fragrance to go out with some girls. Um, this is um, awesome for the club, I would say, but if you're going to the club, the top two are a bit better. But this right here is the date night fragrance, Netflix and chill fragrance. If you wanna make a baby, wear this fragrance. You will, 
You will make a baby like this with this one. Why is it la nuit de l'homme, which also means the night of the men? Number two is Leighton. Not much needed to be said about this fragrance. Um, green apple. That's what I want to start off with. Green apple. Why? Because whenever you smell this fragrance, that's what it starts you off with. You get smacked in the face with a green apple scent. Uh, it's got the nice cinnamon notes. It's got the vanilla, the lavender, so a little bit of uh, musky notes in there. I mean, listen. Ah. Uh, Layton is an edible type of fragrance, like a gourmet, gourmet, I think gourmand fragrance. It's like you want to eat it. It smells like an apple pie. It's got the green apple on the top notes that, like I said in every single one of the videos that I put this fragrance in, it's like different. It's very different. Like it's so much different than any other DNA. And if you pay attention, a lot of people say that, oh, once you smell niche, um, it's so much different than designer. And most of the time, it's because they've smelled Parfums de Marley. If you smell a lot of other niche fragrances, like, yeah, they'll stick out from the designer ones, but I don't think that they will um, necessarily be too much different than a lot of designer ones. But with Parfums de Marley, if you smell, for say, Layton, and some of the other parfums de Marley that contain the green apple greenly as well, these things like stick out. They have such an like distinct DNA that you'll know. You know when you smell it what fragrance this is and you don't have to think twice because, oh, I've smelled that before. Is it Armani or is it this? I'm telling you guys, please buy Layton. It's a blind buy that you won't regret. If you don't have a, a kiosk that has Layton or PDM, just buy it, buy a decant, buy the 75 milliliter bottle. There's a lot of discounters online. I know that also have Layton, buy it. I, I recommend you buy Layton, it's super sexy. It's got a sexy DNA. Um, women love this DNA as well. I mean, I even have woman friends that have this fragrance in their arsenal, like they spray this. And it's more masculine than feminine, but you can get away with it. And number one, none other than Parfum de Marley Carlisle. Now, let me start with that. I had an outer body experience when I bought this fragrance. When I smelled this fragrance, and this is the craziest story ever. Never smelled this fragrance. I was at the mall. The lady gave me the piece of paper with Carlisle on it. And I was smelling Leighton Exclusive, all the other Parfums de Marley. When I smelled Carlisle, I immediately told her, I said, what did you just hand me? She said, oh, this one is Carlisle, my favorite. I said, I want it. I bought Carlisle on the spot. I've never done that with any other uh, fragrance. With Aventus, I, I took some time to buy it. You know, I knew what it smelled like before I bought it. But this was basically like the only blind buy I bought. Like I did not know if my skin was gonna perform good with it. And man, was I in for a good ride because my skin loves this fragrance. My clothes do too. I mean, I'm getting like 20 to 30 hours, sometimes even a week. Like, it's so crazy that sometimes this stuff is on my clothes a week later. I have to wash my clothes after I wear this every time. Every time I wear this, I have to wash it because it sticks. It's such a good, amazing feeling to be able to know that, all right, I'm gonna spray this. I know it will last me about 10, 12 hours from now. And where do we start with this one? I had a video of this already against Layton, but this is a little bit better than Layton because of the smoky notes that it has in it. Similar to Herod, but Herod is different, very different, but people compare them. I, I get where they get that comparison, but Carlisle is the top dog, definitely, from Parfum de Marley. It's a like a Middle Eastern, like, I don't know, if you guys ever been to a Middle Eastern hookah lounge, you know, shisha burning in the air, a lot of nice fragrance in the, in the air as well. So with Carlisle, it's got green apple on the top notes, just like Layton. So it's kind of giving you that apple pie um, uh, smell 
on the initial notes, but it switches really fast. Like you smell the apple, but then it switches into like a cinnamon, vanilla, more of like a smoky, tobacco, uh, sweet, aroma, elegant fragrance. The only way I can describe it is a Middle Eastern hookah lounge or something like a Middle Eastern prince would wear. Try it out if you wanna get yourself some decans of this. They're uh, not that expensive online. You can find some for I think like 10 bucks. Try this out. You won't regret it. If you regret it, come back here and I will literally buy you, uh, uh, give you the money back for the scents that you bought. And it's not a sponsored video, but that's how much confident I feel behind this fragrance. I promise you, this right here will be your most complimented fragrance. It's fallout right now, so this thing is gonna perform just good. It's starting to get cold out, it's raining. Pick this up for these colder and fall seasons. I promise you, you won't regret it. Gentlemen, ladies, that's it really. My top five of the most sexy fragrances. Everything in this lineup is basically set to get you compliments, pick up ladies if you wanna pick up ladies, uh, impress your wife if you wanna impress your wife, if you're having an uh, intimate relationship, dinner with somebody, wear any of these fragrances. They're long lasting, they have amazing sillage, they also have super distinct DNAs so you won't smell like anybody else and they will get you compliments with that being said thank you guys ladies gentlemen thank you so much for watching my video follow me on my tiktok and instagram i post their daily content about fragrances top fives comparisons almost any type of fragrance video you want to see is on my other socials with that being said fragrance master out thank you for watching and please subscribe